What's up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to talk about the basic budgeting rule known as the 50-30-20 rule. So the 50-30-20 rule is a very easy rule to understand and pretty easy rule to follow if you know how to track your expenses. So the 50-30-20 rule basically tells you that you should take 50% of your post-tax income, apply that towards your needs, 30% towards your wants, and that remaining 20% should go towards your savings and your investments. Before we get into those three categories any more though, there's a few questions you're gonna have to ask yourself before you're actually prepared to start budgeting. The first question and the first task you're gonna have to do is smash the like button for that algorithm. Thank you so much, but seriously. All jokes aside though, the first thing you're really gonna to wanna to do is figure out how much money you're actually making. And by that, I mean, what is your take home pay? So your take home pay is how much money you're taking home after your taxes have been withheld and everything else has been withheld from your paycheck. Pretty easy to figure out, but that's the number that you're gonna to wanna to work with whenever you're looking at your budget. The next thing you're gonna to have to figure out is how much money you're currently spending on things and a way for you to track your expenses in the future. There's a couple ways you can do this. There's kind of the old school way where you actually write down every expense as you make that expense and write down how much money you spend on it. I did this for a while and personally, I, it didn't work for me. I had a big Excel spreadsheet and I was great about inputting all my expenses like 90% of the time. So 10% of my expenses weren't showing up in my budget just because of laziness and me just forgetting to do it, to be honest with you. So I started doing a little bit of research and I found that there's several apps out there that will actually help with your budget and with tracking your expenses. The app that I use is known as Mint and I've really enjoyed using it. It's pretty easy to use. All you have to do is plug in your different financial accounts. So these include like your savings account, your checking account, your credit card accounts. This will allow the app to actually track automatically what your income is as well as how much money you're spending with your credit cards or through your checking account or whatever. And what's really nice with Mint is it will look at the expense name and then try to auto sort those expenses into different categories. And then these categories show up as different graphics in the Mint app. You'll have like a pie chart that shows your different expense amounts as well as different bar graphs and it will tell you whenever you're closing in on a certain budget for certain categories. Something to be aware about with the Mint app though is that it doesn't always place expenses in the correct category. An example of this is that I use the Robinhood app for stock investing and every time I make a stock purchase with Robinhood, it seems to think it's a babysitting expense because of the name Robinhood. It's pretty easy to fix this. You just change the category of the expense and it will put it in the correct category. So it's no big deal and it's very useful if you're having a hard time tracking your budget just like I did. So now that you know how much money you're making as well as how you're to track your expenses we can kind of talk about those three categories i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about the three categories just because they are pretty simple to understand your needs your wants and your savings and investments but let's go into it anyways the biggest category and the first one we're going to talk about is your needs so your needs are things you need to survive on these are your utilities your housing your clothes and your your food i mean it's the things that you can't live without next category that we need to talk about makes up 30 percent of your budget and that is your one so your wants are things that will improve your quality of life. However, they're not really necessary in order to live. So your wants are anything from that new pair of shoes to maybe a puppy to, I don't know, dinner out every night or something like that. I don't know. I don't do that, but maybe you guys can budget for it. A lot of people are afraid of budgeting because they're worried that if they budget, that they won't be able to enjoy life and that they're always going to be worried about penny pinching. However, that's just not the case. Look at this 50-30-20 rule. 30% 30 of your take-home pay can be used towards your wants. That is a big chunk of your take-home pay. I know for me personally, I don't use 30% of my take-home pay towards my wants. That would be way more than I would ever need. I actually use about 20% of my take-home pay towards my wants, and so I'm able to use that extra 10% and put that towards my savings and investments, which brings us to the last category, your savings and investments. So although this is the smallest of the three categories, it's gonna make the biggest impact on your financial future as well as a big impact on your happiness in the future as well. So you wanna make sure to at least 
put in that 20% into your savings and investments. Otherwise, you're putting yourself into a bad position in the future where you're going to have to try to make up that money late in life. Whereas if you can follow this budget early on in life, even though it's a small percentage, 20% of your take home pay, that's not that much. It can put you in a great position later on in life. And I can promise you, it will put you in a better position following even a basic budget such as the 50, 30, 20 rule than if you were trying to do it by yourself without trying to track your expenses expenses and just say, hey, whatever's left at the end of the month, that's what I'll save. If that's the strategy you're currently using, I highly recommend that you follow maybe not even the 50, 30, 20 rule, but just a budget in general. Try to track your expenses because it's so easy to spend more money than what you think you are, especially if you're not tracking it. With all that said though, guys, please understand that these are my opinions and not financial advice. If you're gonna do anything financially, please talk to a professional so that you can feel comfortable with the decisions that you're gonna be making. If you guys found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.